where we are at this moment is called the Miyoko City, and this area is a high plain, which is Miyoko Kogen, because Kogen means high plain. And also, this is really unique because it's not really as commercial as normal ski resorts, so it's still kind of one of the wonder areas. The Miyoko Mountain has got an incredible amount of terrain and something for everyone, and we've got a lot of really beautiful beginner and intermediate terrain. So standard season, you get around about 13 metres of snowfall and uh, our biggest season since I've been here was two years ago when we had 23 metres. The powder snow is absolutely incredible and that's one of the main attractions for your more advanced skiers and snowboarders for the area. Snow quality, of course, it's going to be an important factor, but it depends on how cold and how sunny it is. So this area has got a, a lot of mixture between the, a lot of nice snowfall for the powder skiing, but the sunnier day for the family destination as well. The main area is uh, we offer snow sports school lessons to ski and snowboard uh, for children from three years old upwards and then a whole range of really good equipment rental and also photography services. We have a lot of international instructors as well as Japanese and all of our services are offered in English as sort of support services for international guests when they come over here. Here in Akakura we do have Akakura Kanko ski resorts and also Akakura Onsen ski resorts. So it's going to be two areas combined together. But also in the same valley, we do have seven different mountains. So actually, Miyoko Snow Sports is taking the guest and taking to the different seven ski resorts as they wish to. Here, I guess it's a little bit more of a cultural experience. And you can expect, as you're walking through the village, for it to feel like you're in Japan, you're in a Japanese ski town. And so there's a lot of great little Japanese restaurants and bars and little Japanese shops and stuff like that that you can really enjoy. You're not going to get bored. You can be here for weeks on end and you don't get bored. Very important to keep the Japanese atmosphere for me in this area. That is because it doesn't matter Japanese people coming for a holiday or overseas guests coming for a holiday because this is where we are in Japan. So I want everyone to experience Japanese dining and Japanese culture and also Japanese neighborhood because local people is really, really friendly here.